When the Russian tanks rumbled into Georgia, it didn't take the EU's current leader long to get involved. Rapidly, Continue. Nicolas Sarkozy Talking flew to see Russia's country. President Medvedev and Georgia's sure. President Mikhail Saakashvili and hammered out a six-point ceasefire program. Mr Saakashvili has since revealed that in those early days, he took just a single phone call from Britain's Prime Minister Gordon Brown. From German Chancellor Angela Merkel, there were around five. America's President George W. Bush came on the line nine times. But from Mr Sarkozy, there were no fewer than 20 calls. Mr President, it's Paris on the line again. Even French journalists at the EU summit on Georgia were impressed. This uh, Georgian crisis, he handled it quite OK because he, he went there, he was... He, he is the guy of action. He loves action. So whenever action is needed and required, he's there. In the years since Mr Sarkozy became French president, he's rarely been out of the headlines or, it seems, off an aeroplane. He's been to the US to repair the relations with Washington soured by his predecessor Jacques Chirac. I want to be your friend, your ally, your partner. He loves America. He loves the United States. He, uh, I think, I mean, he wouldn't say that, but I, I think he sees himself as a, as a new French Kennedy, you know? And even with the glamorous aspect of Calabruni uh, compared to Jackie. Sarkozy's been to Beijing to get to know the folks there. He's been to Israel to do his bit for Middle East peace. Generating pictures for which any politician would sell his grandmother, he's welcomed to Paris the former Colombian hostage Ingrid Betancourt. With new wife Carla Bruni, there was a hugely successful official visit to Britain. When ten French soldiers died in Afghanistan, he flew there instantly. They fulfilled their duties to the fullest, and it cost them their lives, which reminds us that being a soldier is a job like no other. He's become Europe's best-known politician, and Sarkozy's dipped poll ratings are climbing again. But now he's taking another trip to Moscow to chide the Russians into full observance of that ceasefire deal. A crucial test. Critics say the busy Mr Sarkozy needs to do a bit more yet to show he can turn headlines into substance. Robin Oakley, CNN, Brussels.